in this video we are going to render an html page using node.js so let's open our vs code and we have a folder here which is js test so we are going to create a new file which will be our first javascript file index.js and now we will create a folder for static files like html css etc so the static files folder will contain the html file which will be index.html and let's create the skeleton of our html so we are going to have a h1 tag and it will just uh, say subscribe for more node.js videos okay so we have our html5 and now we will need a server but before that let's uh, initialize our node.js project using the npm init y you can also check our previous videos on how to create node.js projects okay now that we have initialized our node.js project we will need the express uh, framework so we are going to install express and we have a new dependency which is express with the help of express we are going to create a node.js server because we will need the server to render our html page so we are going to import it using the require function and then now we are going to create an instance of express app so we are going to store it on our app variable and we are going to use the express function to create the instance now that we have our app we can just use the get method for to handle get requests on our root path and we are going to use a callback function with the arguments request and response you can check our previous video on how to create a node.js server uh, to understand this better so we are going to send a response this is the right server okay now uh, our uh, server can handle get request but we need to listen on a certain port so we'll listen on port 3000 and we'll also use a callback function which will uh, log out on our terminal or uh, something like uh, the server is running okay that's it now we can just run our server using node index.js and as you can see server is running so which means it is working we can go on localhost http localhost 3000 and as you can see our server is working and it's sending us the response now it is just sending some text but we need to render the whole html page in instead of that text so the first thing we need to do is import the path module from node.js the path module is going to help us in creating a path this path will show the server where our static files are located so this path module helps working with files and directories which is your folders next thing uh, we are going to need is the middleware so we are going to need the middleware to serve static files now the middleware is just a, a function which will execute our code now our code is express dot static to serve static files like html and we ne will uh, need uh, to show it the path where our file is located so we are going to use path dot join so whatever it is current path we will join it with the folder name so we are going to use the global variable uh, directory name we are going to use underscore dir name and uh, remember it's a double underscore and the next thing we will need is our folder name which will be static files so whatever static files in our folder it will serve that using express dot static so that's it we don't need the get function as our middleware is just going to uh, execute the code and send the response back so if we refresh it okay it's not working we need to restart uh, the server because we haven't uh, installed a uh, library like nodemon so we are going to write node index.js again and again our server is running and this time the middleware should send the html page as a response as you can see it's working so that's how you serve a static html files so once again we are uh, using middleware which will uh, whenever our request is received it will uh, execute this code which will serve static files uh, in our static files folder so in our static files folder we can include other static files like let's say a css file so we can just uh, change the color of our h1 to red here 
and of course we have to link our CSS file to our HTML so we can use the link tag and let's just restart our server so we'll open the terminal again and just write node index.js and it should work if we refresh our browser and as you can see the color has changed. So you can just uh, serve all your static files in one folder and that's using a middleware in node.js so that's it from this video in our next video we will uh, talk about middlewares in node.js and different types of middlewares and all about, about that so see you in the next video till then keep coding